Installing trim on inside and outside corners can be a very daunting task. Now there's special tools that you can buy to help assist with this, but if you don't know how to use the tools, the task gets that much more complicated. So today I have a couple of very easy ways for you to get these angles. We're not gonna measure anything, we're not gonna use numbers, we're not gonna use math. Instead, we're just gonna use these two pieces of scrap. First example, we have an inside corner on an obtuse angle, so greater than 90 degrees. I have my two scrap pieces here, they're both cut to the same width. I slide one into the corner here, I hold the other one up against the other wall, I slide it in, I slide it down, and I simply mark where the two come together. Now, if I connect that point to this point, that is what I need to cut that angle to. Now, of course, it depends on how meticulous you are with drawing this out and how meticulous you want the job to be done, but this is all you need to do to figure out those two pieces. Cut both your pieces at whatever this is. It doesn't matter the number, and it's gonna fit every single time. Now in the next example, we have the outside corner of an obtuse angle. Here, we're gonna take our two scrap pieces. I slide one up against one wall and one up against the other wall, just holding them both together like this. I wanna mark right here where the two overlap, and then I'm gonna go on the inside corner here, I'm gonna mark the same way. So it should look something like this. All I have to do is connect those two points and that is the angle that we need. Again, cut both of those pieces to that same angle and it'll fit together just fine. All right, now I've switched it up to an acute angle. We're gonna go on the outside and it might look 90 degrees, but if we put a square up there, you can tell this is definitely out of square, but it works the exact same way. I slide one up on this side of the wall, one up on this side of the wall. I hold them together. We make a simple mark here, a simple mark here, and all I have to do is connect those two dots and that is going to be the angle we need. Again, cut both pieces to that angle, they'll slide up and meet in the middle. And last but not least, we're gonna do the inside corner of this acute angle. Now there's an issue here. If I put this square end into the corner, I'm gonna have a gap here, and that's not a good thing. So the easiest thing to do is just lob this off at an angle. I chose five degrees, you could choose whatever you want. And now when we slide this in here, we can get nice and tight up into that corner. Now I take my other scrap piece, I hold it up against the wall, down onto here, and I just make a mark right here. And when I connect these two dots, once again, this is the angle that I need to cut this at so that these two pieces will fit snugly into that corner. Again, there's no math, there's no messing around, no fancy tools, it just works. It doesn't matter what the numbers are. Hopefully this helps you guys out.